Welcome to class. Today is Tuesday, May 12, 2020. In phonics, we will focus on adding two letters or two letter sounds to a word to make another word. Here we have the letter, the word in. I N spells in. So if I add the h h h in, that makes it hin, and then t t t hint. So I'm able to make the out of the word in, adding the h h h at the beginning and the t t t at the end. I created the word hint. Okay. So that's the example that I have for you today. Here is the assignment that you will be completing on your own in Seesaw. So what you need to do is what I did. You need to add in a letter at the beginning and a letter sound at the end to make a different word. Okay, so the first one is in, am, it, another in, and an an, okay? If you have any problems, you can look up a list of words that have the word in in them, am, it, or an, to help you with that. Okay, you can go ahead and pause the video, or if you're ready to go on, we are going to start our reading lesson next. Welcome to reading. This week, we focus on main or central idea and details. Before we listen to our story, here's a quick checklist that I wanted to show you to help you remember what we're looking for during our reading, before our reading, and after our reading. Since we're barely going to read the book today, it is before the reading. So right here it states that before you read the book, read the title. So let's read the title. The title of the book is The Day the Crayons Quit. What is the text about? What do you think the book is about with that title? The Day the Crayons Quit. And what is the topic? Who or what do you think the story is about? Okay, so that's just a very quick checklist to try to again help you to determine the main or central idea when we're reading a book. Now we're going to go ahead and read the book. It's one of my favorite books. I read it to many of my classes, so I hope you enjoy it. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas, and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies. Well, the only things I get 
are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, great crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know? So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Cran. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same color as the page you're using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or fill in the empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Cran. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a nice black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Cran. Dear Duncan, as Green Cran, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends Yellow Cran and Orange Cran, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Cran. Dear Duncan, Yellow Cran here. I need you to tell Orange Cran that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, Yellow Cran. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Cran already talk to you, the big whiner. Anyway, can you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you use me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Cran. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color in the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could all use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Cran. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Cran. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. 
How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Cran. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I always do. Now, can you tell me what the main or the central idea of the book is? Remember when we're looking for main or central idea of any book, you need to find the person, the people, the place, or the, the day thing the clans quit. That the book by is Drew mostly Daywell. about. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. Okay. So this part One of day the in class, will Duncan be went to take out his crayons so and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Portion today. Hey Duncan, to it's me, Bud Crayon. Again as many we need to talk. You, need to, and we you make me work harder tomorrow. than any of your other crayons. All your Welcome to math, and we are still focusing on money. But this week, we have the value already set for us. So we'll get started. The first value is 15 cents. Now I'm going to choose a one way of putting down the coins to combine them to make this value 15 cents. But there are different ways that you can actually make 15 cents. So the way that I picked is... Since it's counting by fives, I pick five, ten, and another nickel, which is fifteen. Okay. But there are actually two more ways, or you can combine several coins to make fifteen. So when you complete your activity, I would like to see if you can create or make the value of 15 cents, but combining different coins. Let's see, okay? Um, our next value is three cents. Well, there's really not, you don't have a lot of different ways to choose with combining coins to make three cents. So it's pretty simple, one cent, two cents, three cents. So that would be creating the value of three cents. And our last value is 10 cents. Now, there are, like, again, there are ways that you can create 10 cent values. Um, I wanted to do it a different way because I just wanted you to see that there's different ways that you could combine coins and make 10 cents. Um, but again, when you complete your activity, then you can do so with different coins if you'd like. Okay, so this is how I combine my coins to make 10 cents. So I decided to use, this is a what? This is a penny. So I decided to use five pennies. So if I have five pennies, how many more cents or what other coin do you think I used to make 10 cents? If you said a nickel, you are correct. That is a nickel because a nickel you count by fives. So right here, I already have five cents just in this one coin. So I chose nickel, which is five, and then six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And that is my value of 10 cents. Okay, so really easy. I think that you're getting the hang of it. And um, we're, this is the actually this is the activity that you're going to have waiting for you in Seesaw. So 
as I said before, you can complete it using different coins than I did. I was just showing you some examples, okay? So this activity will be waiting for you in Seesaw, and then we will review it um, tomorrow, okay? So as I mentioned yesterday's lesson, we've concluded our lessons for social studies and science, so I'm trying to think of a fun way to add them, add some more um, lessons in there, so we'll probably start doing that on Thursday, okay? So that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and I hope to see you soon.